Hello, in the last video, I showed uh, how I build up my Spoonie palette. And uh, this video, I will just show you how I migrate in a different palette that is wide and then the round shape. So it will be better to, uh, for the beginners, just learn that the coloring and uh, mix uh, the colors and considering their complement color. So I will easily just uh, uh, move them in this different uh, palette. Last time I just showed you this palette setting. So I will properly rearrange uh, from here the rectangle one to here. You start from the lemon yellow to and warm yellow so I will arrange this order there is a bamboo green and this is a, a viridian and this is a thalo green and I will make a Turkish uh, green the green plus uh, cyan blue will will be uh, the, the Turkish uh, Turkish blue and this one is a little bit uh, light uh, cyan blue. So I will place it here. That is not yet uh, dried, but uh, if it is uh, dried, it will be safe. And this is here. Place. This is violet, so uh, the violet always should be um, center in the bottom. Then it can be the opposite of the yellow side, yellow uh, cell, and uh, violet toned red arranged to red violet to the and palm rose. And if you have allergic crimson up to here and warm yellow the warm yellow maybe here then the orange dark orange and the one is I like that the autumn orange and deep uh, yellow so uh, this one is a round shape, so if you want to use this wide shape of palette, you can use it. And uh, last time I just uh, used this uh, cells for the um, neutral color. I can just arrange here, so you can use uh, the blue tag, then you can just uh, place inside. and. You can use it arrange for the colors and if you want to mixture so then you can place inside and then so when you're painting you can just take it just to mix the color on your painting that is very easy and then if you need some uh, different tone of uh, the olive olive green it is easy to mix sometimes some more red uh, more yellow and then sometimes more blue then you can just uh, control the tones for your painting. So um, that is my idea of uh, a spoony palette. So if you need more colors, you can just uh, add more cells inside. And I like this white one, you can just uh, arrange inside. And if you don't want to this one, this cell, or if you don't have that, so don't worry. And you can just uh, add your uh, inner cell. If I have an uh, opportunity, I will show you how I make this um, spoony cells because I should make near the uh, stove. <laughs> so <clears throat> I can uh, show you now. Mm. So you can just uh, uh, neutral colors arrange the here inside, uh, put them here, then it will be. Um, other arrangements but mainly you the, the, the most important thing is arrange this uh, color fills inside applied then then you can 
uh, easily check yellow to violet and then the lemon lemon yellow is sort of a bit uh, red violet and this way so this can be applied in your palette always so it is really easy to find the color so I like this uh, the my spoony palette so I want to you know, I recommend you to use this one the palette should be not be fixed nowadays the, the paints so we can just buy a different brand of the paints easily so we can swap the colors and then if we uh, just to follow the tutorials every artist have a just use a different set of the paints at a time so if we just easily re, um, combine or we just take some samples then it is easy and for your um, following tutorial so I just strongly recommend because I'm a same beginner so I just experienced the same thing and then I need that uh, color just to arrange this. So this is my um, lounge shape. I just migrate to here. So today I showed another how to set up my spoonie palette. Thank you for watching.